Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset or restore your Dell laptop back to its factory state. So this should be a fairly straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. Please note I would recommend creating a backup of any documents or pictures on your computer before you proceed because this will be removing personal files, at least the method that we're going to be going through in this tutorial. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu by left clicking on the start button one time. Now you want to either left click on the little settings button on the left side here, it looks like a gear, or you just type in settings into the start menu, whichever you prefer. And now in this new window that appears, you want to scroll down until you get to the update and security tile. Left click on that one time. Now on the left, you want to left click on recovery. Now you want to go underneath where it says reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them, and then reinstalls Windows. Left click on the Get Started button right here, and it will take a second to load the next prompt, so you just want to be patient. Underneath Choose an Option, now you have a couple of choices here. You can keep your files, which will remove apps and settings, but will keep personal files. This is a little vague, and I just want to explain that even if you select that option, I would still recommend creating a backup of any personal files you have. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to select Remove Everything, so I want a clean install of Windows 10, basically. So I'm going to select that option, and it should say this won't take long. And then we're going to have another prompt here that's going to ask, do you want to clean the drives too? First option is basically just going to be a quick removal and then reinstall Windows 10. Second option is going to actually clean the drive, which is definitely more in-depth. I personally would really only recommend the second option if you're going to be donating the device and you're never going to use it again. Otherwise, I would just recommend sticking with the first option here, which should just remove your files. And again, you'll get a prompt that says this won't take very long. We'll get another last prompt here that's going to say ready to reset this PC. Again, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, resetting will remove personal files. It also will remove user accounts from your computer apps and programs and any changes that have been made to the settings area on your computer and it will take a while so again depending on your hardware specifications it could take up to an hour or a couple hours or it could take as little as 10 or 15 minutes again it really depends on a computer by computer basis but we're going to select reset here and once you have done that I would not recommend interrupting it just let it go and once it is done I will be back
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, I'm back. So it looks like the computer has reset to factory settings successfully. And at this point, you should be able to reinstall any applications you had lost when you were creating the factory reset. You can put your programs and other files, programs, documents, pictures, what have you back on your computer. I would recommend creating a system restore point as well once you've completed that task and you should be pretty much good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.